Alrighty, so in this video, we're exploring MACB, South Carolina, as far as a driving tour goes. Um, it was actually requested that we show MACB from one of my subscribers in Australia. So this video is for you and anybody else that would like to watch about MACB, South Carolina. So are you ready? Yes. I am too, so let's go. Still in peach season right now. All those beautiful, beautiful South Carolina peaches. That's a kale and green stripper. We know you don't need that because you don't eat that. Lima beans, pinto beans, black eyed peas. So this is a really good brand of peanuts right here. They're really tasty. Or peach enchilada is a peach topper. out of McLeod Farms. We got ice cream. I got um, grape and lemon and mom got grape and peach. I have not seen grape ice cream since Caraway's used to have it many, many years ago when I was a child. So hopefully it's as good as it ever was. But we're also celebrating because I finally did monetize the channel last night. It only took, well actually yesterday morning, it only took less than 12 hours to get approved. So all y'all that's watching, please watch the ads now because there was ads in there anyway. So <laughs> if, you, if you had to watch them, might as well Go ahead and let me get something. So anyway, but that's all I put on there was for the ads. How's the ice cream? It's good. It's good. I'm getting ready to try mine too. I've got my fruit today. You got your fruit? Yep. It's the best kind, isn't it? Yep. <laughs> Don't have to chew it up. Yeah. Let it slide right all down. Yeah, because you got peach and grape and I got lemon and grape. So that is fruity. It's <laughs> fruity. <laughs> so there's all those beautiful peach trees. Which is what Mac B is known for. as we head on into Mac 
be you can see the alligator water tower coming into view. You gotta love somewhere that says it's alligator water. I don't even think they would have alligators in this part of the state. Maybe they do. I don't think so. At least they far have alligators up there. Yeah, I think they had one short last year. surprised by that. It's a random fact about MACB. This is um, actually where my dad's side of the family is from originally before they moved to other areas it's where his father was raised and his aunts and uncles and all that stuff and an aunt that was raised up in Macby. if they build them on the edge of this maybe so but I love that water tower. <laughs> and then one of my good friends at work, um, her family is also originally from the Bagby area, which I actually believe were distant relatives. All right, there is the Nestle water bottling facility. So if you ever get any water, it says Chesterfield, South Carolina. It comes from there, from the alligator water. <laughs> yep. <laughs> bottles of water sometime and it has that on there. I'm like, I know exactly where that came from. restaurant now. We got a subway over there. We got an Exxon station on both corners. We got a Citizens Bank. Just in case you don't know, the Citizens Bank is actually located in Turbeville, South Carolina. That's its home headquarters. And we have Highway 1. Yeah, if you don't know what highway you always have to ask mom. She's uh -huh. one of those this. I said you'd want those on the highways. I can tell you how to get somewhere, but that's about it. And highway one will take you straight into Columbia. You going to Columbia today? No. Not today. <coughs> we're going the wrong way. We're going to Columbia. Well, right now we're showing Macby. This is a Macby video. Okay. That 
is a Marmac company right there. That must be a big production. I believe we're going to head out to Carolina Sand Hills. That's one of our favorite places to visit whenever we're in the Magby area. You want to put that in here? Of course I'll put it in here. Okay. Got another McLeod Farms location in three-fourths of a mile away. That was one of the original locations, wasn't it? Yep. Before they built that nice fancy market out there. But the, the, the original location was on 52 is on no more. Yeah, I remember that whenever I was a child. That was uh, happening in the place it back was, in the day. It was. Because it was like, wasn't they outside putting the peaches in your cars and stuff? Yeah. It was more like a shed type thing, I think. If my memory serves correctly, it may not. You know how it is whenever you're young, you can't remember anything. Whenever you get old, you can't remember anything. You just got to hope for the best with the in-between. <laughs> this is A.O. Smith right here. And that makes water heaters. Water heaters? They might make other things too. No, it says water heater right there on the building. It's not just a water See heater, right it's a there? quality water heater. See right? Right there. Yep. And that's one of the stands right there. Mm hmm. That says that's the main office back there. So that's where all your peaches and strawberries and everything else you can think about comes from. As long as it says Max Pride, of course. Let me make sure I throw that in there. Max Pride. You want to get this down here I'll, right I'll, now? Whatever or way or you're we, going on. Or we can turn around and get the rest of okay. I am the... I'm the filmer, you're the driver. Okay, well, what we do is turn around and get rest of that thing. So you don't want to go to Carolina Sandals? We, we can go to it after we finish this. Oh, so you want to do a separate video? Yeah. All right, so there will be a separate video of Carolina Sandhills. <laughs> make the most of your money. Well, I'm not spending any money today. So no, I don't know where you've been in the... That's right. Well, I did spend some money at Food Line. I went in there. The Diet Pepsi's was about to get one free. And also, they had some um, cinnamon roll donuts. Those are really good. They were about to get one free as well. So, I got eight donuts for $3.99. <laughs> you can't beat that. And they taste good. They were good. Not that we ate all eight at one time. That's just unheard of. No, just eat one. Yep. We could eat a whole one of that because that was nowhere the size of a bookie's cinnamon roll. Bookie's cinnamon roll. They've got all icing on the top and the pecans. Pecans. That's so good. I like them. Cut that thing in half and I either share a few or eat it another day. You know how it is? You want to make good things last. Until next year. And they got a double truck. They ain't even use it anymore. I don't know what it is. It says that A.O. Smith's been in business for 150 years. Lord. There's another Mac B Town Limit sign. I'm going to turn right and then you catch the. I catch everything. 
It's been so long since we came. We have not came since um, May. <laughs> and here it is in the middle of August. When they probably thought we died back there at McLeod Farms because we're usually in there every when, two weeks when, or less. When COVID was there, we went every week. We sure did. <laughs> That's a, where you got your fresh produce. And I don't know some people's like, well, if like if people see me in the store back there at Maggie, they're like, what in the world are you doing here for? This is like people that live like where I live at. I'm like, I come up here all the time. They look at me like I'm crazy. Maybe I am. And this is 151. Highway yes. is 151. So look at this beautiful building right here. That is so nice. And then, it says they have a railroad museum. I wonder when they open. And they got the little caboose back there. And this just town of Church, you know, church. I get church never on the You reckon it's the same church? I don't know. Maybe. That is a ball field. Then we have a graveyard out here. I think Don said that some of his family. She was not a bad storm at all, but good lord, the rain. So now, you got a lot of the rivers flooding everywhere. The ones from North Carolina is coming on down south. Yep. Property taxes, they gonna take it too? Yep. Yeah, they 
which is true. one of the old mills. Hopefully nobody don't get behind us and mom can slow down enough to hopefully get a good look at it. I'm surprised it's still low. I think. It's so broke up. I'm pretty sure it was still up. Yeah. I'll never forget that old man as long as I'll be able to tell you that. see it some. We actually went in there back in the day. That was one of the funniest things ever. <laughs> you can have yeah, Grace in the, in the floor. You can actually see the water. Huh? Yeah. <laughs> and my sister-in-law, she was afraid of us. <laughs> she didn't want to walk no farther. <laughs> turned around so I'll start the video back up once we get back into the main part of the town. Speed up. I think I said watch your speed. Alright so we're back in town now and we got this lovely watch your speed sign up here. This it always lets you know to slow down. It does. Yep. There was a like a 18 wheeler type thing in a boat there, and then the, after about 40 something years, they just decided to sell it finally. I guess it was like the landmark. You knew where you were at whenever you saw that. Some people pronounce this as McBee. McBee. But it's MacBee. They emphasize the Mac. Not the Mick. MacBee. So over here we got some churches. That right there is always beautiful. I love that little church right there. We got 
at the water tower over there. They finally took the UFO looking thing off of it. ATM. Every town needs an ATM. I wonder if they got one at the bank. I'm sure they do. This is a Blue Star Memorial Highway. Highway 1. Highway 1. Sand Hill Telephone Cooperative. another part of that Marmac. So apparently they sell protective apparel. And they see RC more mm -hmm. truck drivers back there. We usually don't come out this far. <laughs> we got certain paths we take. As you can see they have glorious amounts of pine trees here. trees those are baby pine trees they must have cut the big ones and planted the small ones so they can grow up and be tall big trees and then they'll cut them too and replant them again you got this beautiful flat it's not flat but farmland out here well it's flat there that is so pretty i love some farmland probably another 50 years that i'll be houses out there if it even takes that long depends if whoever owns it can keep it in the family If it's even owned by a family, I don't guess it's owned by a family to be that much that's not developed. And I know people have to have somewhere to live, but you know, you're slowly taking away all your farms and everything, and you got to have farms, people to eat. So, and you also kind of have to wonder once everybody dies out that came from big families, if the population will go back down. It's a good possibility. Because, you know, people don't have 15 children anymore, hardly. Most people have two or three at the most. Some only have one, most people have none.
We got a big 18 wheeler coming. I think we just need to stay right here where we're at. As they say in Robin Hood, it is not a good day to die. <laughs> so I don't think so. Especially on a churchyard. Oh, well, I know, but I ain't, I ain't ready to go yet. I might go, but I don't want to go today. I think that was the best thing. Drive through and drive through. So on this side row, we have some more lovely pine trees. Cedar. Some cedar out there also. See, y'all getting the cedars mm -hmm. right there. And the pine trees by the pine. So I think we have covered it from north, south, east, and west. Yep. All thing we didn't do is go up and down each individual highway. Yeah, I got plenty of time. It might end up being like a two or three hour video. I'm off today. All day. Long. See, there was business. Yep. I guess I need to turn it back to this side road now so we can see it. Got a Mac B Medical Center right here. And if you go on down that road, you can go end up at Lee State Park. That's correct. Right? That is right. Mom knows how to get to a state park. I might need to run by there because the um, boardwalk was flooded from where the Lynch's River came out. Yeah, we can do that too. I don't know if we can yeah. actually get to the boardwalk, but you know. I don't know if we can get to the boardwalk, but we can at least say, huh, here we are. This is a town where Rick Henry, that used to be, I don't know if he's still on WIS-TV or not, but he was a sportscaster on WIS TV. He lived in McBee, originally from McBee. Well, I think that's about all we can do. We have yep. came back to the main section, not section, but section. 
Well, we came in from that way, went yep. down that way. Went that way, went back that this way, way. And this way. Yep. At Cover Back B. Yep. All right, Mom, so how'd you enjoy your little trip around Mac B today? Mm -hmm. It was. Enjoy stopping at McLeod Farms. I always love stopping there. I was so excited to see they had grape ice cream. So I got grape and lemon, and Mom got peach and grape. The, um, the grape was not as good as one I had during my childhood was. But anyway, it was good. Anyway, it actually tastes like grape. Um, we got some peaches, and then we just started driving around. It actually took longer to drive around than what I thought it would. I think the video is probably at this point about 30 or 45 minutes long. Whatever. <laughs> it's something. But um, I think it showed a nice little section too. At least the roads. It's a lot of it's a lot of roads, but we didn't go up and down each individual road. But anyway, you get the idea of where we went. So anyway, we hope you enjoyed. Hope you'll watch some more videos. Oh yes, and I did um say earlier in the video that I finally did monetize the channel. So the only reason I did that because um there's ads in the videos anyway. I have been finding that out. Basically, ever since I was past 500 subscribers, I noticed they started putting ads in my videos. And um, I just didn't want to commit to it until I know that I would not drop below 1,000 subscribers. So, I currently have 1,125. As long as nobody else subscribes, of course. So, I don't think I'm in any danger of going below 1,000 at this point anymore. And absolutely nothing's going to change on the channel. I'm not putting any kind of super chats on there. I'm not putting any kind of Patreon on there. All I want you to do is watch the videos, have a good time like you and always subscribe. have. Subscribe, share the videos, like the videos, comment on the videos. I truly do enjoy the comments. So um, it's that kind of stuff. The only thing is the ads, but they're there anyway. So anyway, we had a little celebration for that. And um, some of my subscribers, they were really excited last night whenever I put it on Facebook that I had monetized the channel. And... Um, but like I say, nothing's gonna change. I'm not putting all that stuff on there where you send me money. It's hard enough for people to live now. This is a lifestyle that I have chosen. I don't expect anybody to support me in it, you know, except by watching the videos. That's that's all I ask. <laughs> support the videos. Don't support me, but support the videos. But um, we enjoy doing it, and it's something that we would do regardless because back whenever I was 29 years old, right before I turned 30 something just hit me one day that I just wanted to get out and start traveling and stuff and that's what I've been doing ever since then and I am doing that close to it's been over 14 years now so that gives you my age but um anyway it's something we truly enjoy doing and I was taking pictures for years and putting them on Instagram and stuff and that had a lot of um good feedback and everything and then after that um started putting them on Facebook and stuff and then one day I was like you know what I think I'll just start writing some stuff well, needless to say, I don't write hardly anything. I've, I've got a website. It's TravelingTheSoutheast.com if you ever want to look at it. But I haven't actually written anything on there in like three years. Maybe I just need to do a life update. And um, then I really started getting into the YouTube stuff. And I enjoy it. I like making the videos. So regardless of what the outcome would be, I would still make the videos anyway. Because I enjoy them. It is for memories of me and my parents. And that's what they're there for. And... Um, Plus, if you enjoy watching them, it's a benefit for you as well because then you get to see places. So anyway, just letting you know, nothing will change on the channel. It's just ads in the videos. But like I said, they were there anyway because I'd be watching my videos. I'm like, where is that? Why is there an ad in my video? Why? <laughs> you know? So anyway, there's going to be ads. I might as well make my little $7 per 1,000 views that I'm told that you get. So <laughs> it'll take me a while just to make $7. <laughs> but anyway... Thank you so much for everything you've done. Hope you enjoyed MACB. And thank you to my subscriber in Australia for asking for the video. So we'll see you somewhere else. So toodaloo. Bye. Bye.